I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. How are you feeling right now, beautiful soul? So today I wanna to share with you a message about emotional men. And that doesn't mean, women, that you should stop watching this video because there will be messages in this video for everyone. Men, when they show their true emotions, they step into a different space. The same with women too. Women from a slightly different perspective than men. Because women are mostly taught to love and to be nurturing and to be this woman that kind of looks after the man and the family and everyone else. So they have this compassionate, nurturing nature. But within that, they often lose their fierceness. With men, it's opposite. Men are told to be tough and to be strong to not show their emotions, to be tough in all situations, never to break down, never to be vulnerable. So what men have to do is to kind of lose some of their ferociousness and step into a more peaceful, compassionate space. And women have to step into a more fierce space and lose a little bit of that compassion or bring the compassion and the fierceness into equilibrium. Whereas the man has to do the same thing, bring the compassion and the fierceness into, into equilibrium. As children growing up, we're suppressed. Big boys don't cry, shut up, stop making a scene, stop doing this, pull yourself together. So we grow up and we think we've got to be tough, especially men. A man, when a man takes off his armor, when a man lays himself bare and that vulnerability is laid out on the table, like you're not, behind, you're not hiding behind anything, you're just completely naked. There's nothing else for you to show or to hide behind. So you kind of cross a threshold. You come from that space where I've got to be this all-powerful, fierce, lion, warrior that takes no shit, blah, blah, blah. You take all of that armor off and you lay yourself naked. You cross this threshold into a, a new space. You show your emotions. You allow yourself to feel upset, sad. You allow yourself to cry. You allow yourself to feel pain. It doesn't mean that you wallow in that pity, wallow in that pain, wallow in that suffering. No, but you allow yourself to experience it and then you move on. When a woman unleashes her inner lioness and starts to be powerful and take control and be kind of authoritative, in a business situation, in a family situation. It is incredible. When a man unleashes his softness, it's incredible. Men and women have to come into that space where they unleash the part of them that has been pushed under the surface. Compassion, love, joy, divinity strength, courage, wisdom, knowledge. All of this combined in a big mixing pot, brought into equilibrium, is the perfect magic composition to create a beautiful and magical life. When someone is fierce and powerful with no compassion, they're just gonna crumble at the seams. When someone is compassionate and loving and they have no fierceness in them, no action, no determination, their boundaries are encroached on and they often get walked all over. None of these spaces are healthy. 
You're a powerful being, whether you're a woman or a man. It's important for you to, to be strong and fierce, but at the same time, be compassionate and all loving. What happens when you take off your armor and you step into that space of vulnerability as a man? There's nothing else to hide and you start to move forwards in life. You start to flow. You start to become non-judgmental. You start to become non-reactive. You move into a space where everything's beautiful and you flow down the river like water. Very, very fluid. And in that fluid state, your energy amplifies. Unconditional love flows from within you because you are non-judgmental, because you are non-reactive. You come into a space of pure acceptance. And when you come into a space of pure acceptance, that in itself is unconditional love. Because you're just being, flowing, accepting, and allowing life to unfold. You don't feel like you've got to step into this space and be this strong, forceful person. You can step into that space and be the all-loving, compassionate person, but there is just this underlying nature that you are ferocious and people feel that. When you know it inside, people feel it outside. A hundred million percent. No ifs, buts or maybes. Now, if you're an all-loving, compassionate person, it doesn't mean that you don't have to fight because we live in a human world and sometimes situations arise. Sometimes you may have to fight physically. The aim is to fight with love, to use that strong, fierce, determined nature that you have brought into perfect equilibrium and balance to guide you through any situation. But there are times when you've got to fight. On the flip side of the coin, those times should be very rare. Because if your frequency, your energy is on the money, where you know you're strong, you know you're ferocious, you know you're loving, you know you're compassionate, you, you're feeling joy, you're feeling bliss, you've got clarity and direction, because there's no judgment and no false perception. You're just allowing life to unfold around you and you're just carving and weaving your way through it in and amongst the situations and the people and the events that unfold. Life takes on new wings, beautiful soul. The aim is to bring the divine masculine and the divine feminine into balance. The woman who cares for her children and her husband or a partner, her mother, her father, her family in general, strangers, work colleagues. The woman naturally does that because the woman gives birth to life. It's natural and inherent in women. And we never want to take that away from a woman because it's magical, it's beautiful. It's mesmerizingly profound that a woman brings life onto this earth, onto this planet, into this world. At the same time, when that woman becomes fierce and strong and knows who she is, knows where she's at, she can amplify the compassion and the love and make everything in her environment a hundred times better. She can take control of her life. She can guide her children because she's not just trying to care for them, she's trying to lead them at the same time. That's powerful. Not that we need to lead anybody, but we need to guide them. And a mother or a father are in that perfect position to be the ultimate guides for their children. And when the children grow up, the children can go off into the world with a, a powerful, strong, solid, authentic foundation. Because they've not been raised. They've just been watered, 
fed, nurtured and guided. The mother or father is an inspiration to the children and the children just grow and bloom like beautiful flowers with the most amazing aromas. When a man or a woman is not in balance, the masculine and the feminine are out of whack. The man is either going to be too strict on the children or the woman is going to be too strict on the children or they're going to be too soft and let the children get away with murder. Neither are healthy. Again, it comes back to balance. When a woman has an all-encompassing, nurturing, joy, compassionate self combined and mixed in the, into the potion of uniqueness and beautifulness, when it's combined with that fierceness, that big mixing pot of emotions have interwoven like a geometrical soup. Like the most amazing dish that you've prepared over a hot stove that's been boiling for hours and hours and then simmering and simmering. The flavours are rising within it because the man and the woman or the man on his own and the woman on her own have done the inner work. They've gone into themselves. They've discovered who they are. They've journeyed. They've unlocked their heart. They've opened their heart. They've allowed that heart frequency to completely take over their whole environments, their whole being, their whole essence. And within that, the heart has guided them in the direction of, the dr of their dreams. And when the heart guides you in the direction of your dreams, it doesn't always take you through pleasant experiences. It takes you through growth experiences. And that is where the woman gets to unleash her inner lioness and where the man gets to share his vulnerability and his compassion. Men, take off your armour. Lay yourself naked on the table. Lay it all out. Cry. Experience sadness. But then move on. Don't hold on to it. Experience it. Express it. Move on. It's great to cry. It's an amazing release. So let your emotions go. Women, step into your fierceness. Step into your ferociousness. You know, I feel the best leaders or the best guides on this planet are women. Because women take everyone into consideration. They look at everything as a whole. Men are quite often black and white. And they just look at the situation that's in front of them and they, they make snap decisions. Women often take longer to make decisions because they're taking everybody's feelings into consideration. And that's a beautiful thing. If we can bring more ferociousness and fierceness into, into the female, women should be showing us men how to lead, how to guide. For many years, women have been suppressed. Told to be at home, the housewife, be in the kitchen, all of that bullshit. Women are ferocious business leaders when they connect with their inner lioness. And men are beautiful, devoted, loving fathers when they connect with their compassionate side. You see the divine masculine and the divine feminine, the woman and the man, which really is the masculine and the feminine inside the woman and the masculine and the feminine inside the man because both carry both components in equal measure. When this takes place, when this is allowed to flourish, the world is going to change. We're going to carry such a powerful and significant light within our own consciousness. 
that we're going to spark something deep within our fellow sisters and brothers. And once that spark is ignited, there's no turning back. What you've got to do is you've got to bring your masculine and your feminine into perfect equilibrium to allow us to be the catalyst to ignite the spark in another. And you won't even have to say anything. You'll just have to be walking, moving through this world. Your frequency will tell the story. The way you carry yourself will tell the story. Your energy will tell the story. It will communicate with everyone around you on a deep, deep level. And this combustion will happen in their consciousness. Electromagnetic and magnetic frequencies will be supercharged and people will elevate. Men, take off your armour. Women, allow your inner lioness to rise to the surface. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks as you go through this metamorphosis. It's a perfectly natural thing. You know that you are amazing. You know that you are extraordinary. You know that you are this all-encompassing, magical being. Let's do this, beautiful soul. You know what you've got to do. The key is here. This will always guide you. Your life compass. Listen to it. And follow it. You're amazing. You truly, truly are. And I love you unconditionally. I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fibre of my entire being. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe and share. If you're watching it on Facebook, please like it and share it. Let's share these positive messages with our family, our soul family, our human family. We really are a tribe and together we can make this world a much more harmonious place, a beautiful place to live. I'll see you again real soon, beautiful soul. Check out starmagichealing.com. One love, one heart, one human family. Peace out.